this is the easiest, fastest guide to unlock the free Heated Madness Blueprint from the Coast Chai Complex. You have to extract five attachments, and yes, you can do this by putting them in a secure backpack and then exfil in from another map if you can't get out of this one. For the first attachment, you're going to want to get three AQ laptops. Now the Rohan entrance is the easiest to find them. You're also gonna need a battery and jumper cables to get into the alpha cluster, which I'm showing you right now. And then once you're inside, you're gonna find these three server towers. You're gonna connect the AQ laptops to them. And once you do that, a secret room will appear. Now, if you're having trouble finding the alpha cluster, I do have a guide in another video, which I will link at the end of this one to make sure that you can get there very easily there are actually two entrances and as long as you have the battery and a jumper cable you will be able to get in there very easily once you're inside and you get into the secret room it is very straightforward you're just going to go to the corner of the alpha cluster you're going to climb up these boxes over here and then once you go into the room you're going to have to have a look around there's some high value loot in here but there is also sergey's journal which is quite interesting and then there is the attachment hidden in the corner the next attachment is very, very easy to find. It's usually gonna spawn somewhere around the rubble in one of the little tunnels or just on the side. You can see it lying around very easily. You have to be quick to get into the chemical plant first to find that attachment. For the next one, you're gonna need an R4D detector. There's two of them that spawn in two of these little rooms in the middle of chemical plant. So make sure you and your teammates get one. And then you're gonna to wanna to head to the alpha cluster again then you're going to find these letters on this special door near where the sentry guns are. You're going to want to note down what these letters are and then go to the specific area that responds to the letter. There is six different letters and six blackboards and you're going to find that each letter links to a number as I'm showing here. Once you've got the three numbers, you can enter that into the keypad and it will open the door and you'll get the muzzle. Now for the next attachment, you'll want to go up the steps behind the shop, which is in factory admin. If you don't know how to get in there, check out my weapons case guide because I have a full guide of how to get to the shop. Once you're inside and you go on that top level, you're going to follow it all the way around and you're going to go through some doors and eventually it will say Defense Research Division. Now, once it says that on the top, you'll know you're in the right area and it does look as though that this part spawns in a few different locations. So make sure you check all the different nooks and crannies as you go down through here and eventually you should see it spawning in this corner around here or somewhere close by in this area. Now, the hardest part to get is in the barracks which you can get to by going to the Tarek bridge entrance it is an underwater area you're going to need a rebreather and basically what you're going to do is you're going to keep following the map until you get to this point where the trip wires are you're going to head to the right and then you're going to see this little area that you can blow up now you can use any explosive to blow this up so once you have done it's going to reveal a secret entrance and then is going to be the worst possible part of the map where you have to go underwater and you're going to have to use the rebreather to get access to this part so you're going to want to go through this first door i did find that when you go through the second door here on the right there was actually a chest in here and i actually found another rebreather so i haven't guaranteed that this is always going to spawn a rebreather but if you don't have one and you want to risk it that might be a way of doing it if you don't have a rebreather when you enter the map once you've got your rebreather the attachment isn't actually in this room it's actually back outside and you're going to follow through this hole in the wall and it's going to be be just in the corner of this room over here it's a little bit difficult to get to be very careful that you don't drown and then once you extract with it you will have all of the blueprint attachments unlocked and you will be able to craft the gun